Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, rectangular tower leaning against this uh, square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, pink uh, rectangular tower consists of uh, four uh, identical uh, square. And moreover, uh, this length uh, F, B is uh, 24 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, rectangular tower. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle uh, EAF. Let me go ahead and label uh, its uh, side length. I'm going to call uh, this uh, side length lowercase a, this uh, side length lowercase b, and this uh, longest leg uh, as a side uh, c. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, pink uh, square. And since we are dealing with this uh, square, so all the side lengths uh, are going to be c as well. And since all these uh, squares are uh, identical, so therefore all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be C as well. And now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, FC that is going to be C plus uh, C plus C plus uh, C that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, C. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, FC is going to be 4 times C. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle EAF. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. And this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle is going to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this angle alpha. And this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, FBC. In this triangle, this angle is beta. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, has got to be angle uh, alpha. And now we can see that these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle EF uh, and the other triangle uh, FBC are uh, similar triangles according to angle, uh, angle similarity theorem. And since uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles, and we can see that this uh, side length uh, is a C over here and this side length is 4 times a C. So therefore there is a ratio of 4 to 1. So that means this triangle is 4 times bigger than that one. And now let's make an observation. We can see the side length opposite to this angle beta is A. And in this triangle the side length opposite to beta is going to be for this A is going to become 4 times A. And now the side length opposite to angle alpha is B. In this triangle, the side opposite to this angle alpha is going to be 4 times B. So therefore, we can see all these side lengths of this triangle are 4 times larger than this smaller right triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, length uh, FB is uh, 4B and this is also equal to 24. So that means I can equate uh, 4B equals to 24. So therefore I can write uh, 4 times B equals to 24. Let me go ahead and divide both sides by 4 to isolate uh, B. So therefore our B value turns out to be 6 uh, units. So thus our B value turns out to be 6. And now let's make another observation. We can see this uh, whole length uh, AB is equal to this uh, A plus uh, 
this uh, side uh, 24 so this is going to become a plus uh, 24 and since we are dealing with this uh, square a b c d that means uh, this uh, side length uh, a b must be equal to this side length uh, b c and b c side length uh, is uh, 4 a so therefore i can equate this uh, 4 a equals to a plus uh, 24 so therefore i can write uh, a plus uh, 24 equal to 4 times a so let's go ahead and subtract a from both sides this is gone so therefore we got uh, 3 times a is going to be equal to 24 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to isolate uh, a so therefore our a value turns out to be 8 units so therefore our a value turns out to be 8 and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, eaf and we already figured out this uh, a value is uh, 8 and this uh, b value is uh, 6 and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, c value in this uh, right triangle eaf so therefore let's recall this uh, pythagorean uh, triplets 3 4 5 let me go ahead and multiply all these uh, numbers by 2 across the board then our new triplets is going to become uh, 3 times 2 is going to give us 6 4 times 2 is going to give us uh, 8 and 5 times 2 is going to give us uh, 10 since these numbers are uh, 6 uh, and 8 so the longest leg is going to be 10 uh, units so therefore our c value turns out to be 10 and since uh, c represents the side length uh, of this uh, square so therefore the side length of uh, this square turns out to be 10 so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square and now let's recall the area of the square area equals to s uh, square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of the square is uh, 10 so therefore the area of the square is going to be 10 uh, square and that is going to give us uh, 100 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, square turns out to be 100 and since uh, these squares are identical so therefore uh, this area is going to be 100 100 uh, and likewise uh, 100 uh, square units so therefore the total area for this uh, pink uh, rectangular tower is going to be 100 plus 100 plus 100 and plus 100 as well if we add them that is going to give us uh, 400 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, pink uh, rectangular tower turns out to be 400 uh, square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos Bye.